All right, if you stuck with me through the 45-minute video that I last uploaded where I basically just experimented with the Signal Hound hardware here, in this case the BB60C and trying to get it to work with different open source applications, you, you probably appreciate this uh, shorter video that's just going to focus on one particular thing with Spike that I thought was pretty interesting. And so Spike is the, um, the software that Signal Hound offers here. Uh, in this case, I do have an older version installed on the Dragon uh, OS Focal. Uh, but first, uh, why this resolution looks a little funny is uh, I'm actually running all of this on the um, Steam, the Steam Deck, which is running Dragon OS. I've shown a few pictures of it. Uh, in this case, I'm just remote VNC to the desktop. Uh, if I had a, um, if I had some kind of docking station with HDMI I could probably change the resolution to look a little better and so just to I guess uh, prove that we can see CLI info uh, I've been messing around with putting the latest Mesa and OpenCL on here somewhere here you can see the AMD custom GPU of the uh, Steam Deck and then I uh, used a PPA to get the uh, Mesa version up to a higher level and open CL and I had to do a couple other things uh, but anyways that's just to show that this is running on the Steam Deck I like to call it the Dragon Deck you all probably also notice that the Windows Manager looks a little different so I guess I'll point that out too I installed uh, GDM3 uh, to change the login screen to have a uh, touchscreen uh, keyboard and then uh, uh, once I had GDM3 inst uh, installed under session settings I changed it to mutter became available uh, from open box and then that fixed the um, the touch screen uh, because of the rotation in this view the touch screen did not work right with open box so mutter works great you'll just notice though that the minimize and enlarge um, what for whatever reason buttons are missing so you can just use down here maximize minimize whatever all right so First, uh, I'm on the spike page here, and I'm going to we're going to do a, a update of the spike. And I had also downloaded the MATLAB runtime, which I'll talk about here in just a second. But let's get this spike taken care of first. Uh, let's see, we're gonna unzip spike. And the newer installers um, work pretty well. They actually put a, a, a shortcut in everything. And um, I think put everything where it needs to go. So I'm just going to run it. Uh, you'll notice that the older spike is in user source directory. You could follow that same uh, setup where I've copied it there. And But uh, for the purposes of this video, let's just do sudo sh setup.sh let it do its thing uh, yeah I'm not too worried about that run spike in terminal with spike or by uh, the system application launcher so so we should have spike the latest spike installed it was pretty fast and we'll notice there's probably going to be two shortcuts now under other we got a spike with an icon and spike over here I'm gonna guess let's take a look real quick three dot eight dot one okay so the one with the icon all right but before we get going on that I want to look at installing the Matla uh, MATLAB runtime because we're gonna use the LTE analysis tool against a SRS RAN uh, base station so pop open the manual, look for MATLAB, uh, go to the link that brought me here, and we need I'll tell you 2021B, which I've got, 2021B, Linux, downloaded it already. We should be able to minimize this. Unzip the MATLAB stuff. And 
It may cut out a little bit depending on how long this takes. Okay, that wasn't bad. Now let's go into, so in this case, I probably should have made a uh, directory for it, uh, put the zip in it and then unzipped it because you can see it just is kind of all over the place in my download directory now. Uh, but let's do sudo install. You can see is one of the things here. I'll pull up this step-by-step -step installer. Make sure you read over that. Yep, that's fine. Installation size is pretty large. And so we'll run the installer. While that's installing, um, in case anyone is wondering, uh, the BB, BB60C is right here. Six gigahertz real-time spectrum analyzer, nine kilohertz to six gigahertz. It's got uh, 27, 27 megahertz uh, instantaneous bandwidth, and you can see the pretty high sweep speeds of 24 gigahertz a second. Um, uh, I am just borrowing this, uh, but uh, it is um, a great SDR. Uh, I don't have a lot of the add-ons um, for it uh, that you can you can put on the back as far as um, All right, we can see it's complete. Uh, I'm not gonna, I shouldn't have to append this to the library. I think if I just log out and log back in. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm logged back in and let's check this out under other spike uh, is reorganized up here okay, let's check out our LTE mode we can see it's now loading so the runtime stuff um, was installed correctly and what I'm gonna do is so you can you can do a scan here and one of the first things that I recommend is under, let me think, add measurement. Because you'll probably want to know what your search results are. And so you can configure a scan here. It's defaulted to LTE band 2, but you can add as many bands as you want. And it'll scan, uh, add those bands, basically hit OK, and it will scan when you click start scan and all the results will be in this window here you can have GPS hooked to this as well uh, I just have to take a look to see how to do that with Linux or if that's possible right now and so then you have the GPS location of these survey results which I will say is really cool I don't plan to really dive into it on uh, this particular video but there's a mapping engine here I'm really interested in you can load up maps uh, from I think it's open maps and so all the survey results whether it's LTE or other measurements that you've done you can then um, view them all on the map view your you know GPS location kind of heat map per se out and see the measurements along the way uh, they got a, a good readme on that on the site so I check that out but let's just focus on the LTE and how I'm gonna do that is uh, I've got the BBC 60 and we have a uh, Blade RF that is going to be the um, E node B. And I'll just 
just set that up real quick. Okay, and we're going to take a look at my notes real quick. And so 2680, let's do. Okay, should be online. Put the center freak on that. And let me see. 2680. Okay, and we're getting results here. this up a little bit. Okay, so we can see our LTE uh, constellation. We can see it in the spectrum pot, plot, bottom left, the LTE uh, versus time. You can see your LTE metrics here. And so essentially this is uh, decoding the um, information that is being broadcast with the uh, well, actually, SRS ran in this case, and uh, I know that's a pretty uh, quick little video there, but that will show you how to get that spike software set up, MATLAB uh, installed, and then just to show you, if you want to do specific uh, settings, we, let's see, we could even um, probably include that in the result there. There's no GPS location, but just so that you can see the... Uh, information that it uh, does break down time and uh, all that other information that's going to be in that window and um, so yeah so I went ahead and shut off the um, E and B side I think that's enough there uh, you know B should be shut off and there you go so that's a quick um, little video there uh, much shorter than the 45 minute of using different open source stuff this focuses just on spike and again you can take these results and then put it over into the uh, mapping engine okay so yep yeah, I think that's all we'll do for now and um, appreciate it hope hope that uh, helps get your spike software set up with the uh, necessary tools for LTE all right thank you